How to give blood. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Hospitals in the UK need in excess of 10,000 litres of blood every day to keep up with demand. That's why giving blood could be one of the most important things you ever do. So if you, like many in the Video Jug office, would like to do it but have never got around to it, we thought we'd show you exactly what's involved in giving blood. We've teamed up with Dr Rosemary Leonard to show just how easy it can be. Step 1. Finding a donation centre. If you've decided you want to give blood, then you need to find your local blood donation centre. You can do this by either calling 0845 7711 711 or logging on to www.blood.co.uk. You can either drop in or contact them in advance to make an appointment if you're short of time. Step 2. Registering. Fill in your registration form. Before you can actually part with any of your precious haemoglobin, you'll need to give the blood service a few of your personal details. You can fill in the form online when booking an appointment or you can fill it in at the blood donation centre. Step 3. Arriving at the centre. Before going to donate, it's important you remember to have something to eat and drink. When you arrive, you'll be asked to read the guidelines before having a confidential discussion with a nurse about your medical history. This is to make sure it's safe for you to give blood and only takes place on your first visit. They'll also take a tiny amount of blood from your fingertip just to make sure you're not at risk of being anemic. Then, you're ready to give blood. Step 4. Giving blood. The process of giving blood normally takes up to 15 minutes. First, they'll check your blood pressure, then clean the area around your vein with antibacterial wipes. The nurses are highly trained and most people hardly feel a thing. And that's needles just gone in and it's a slight bit of pain there, um, but really, I mean, stubbing your toe against the door would be worse than what I just felt there. Your donation will be 470 millilitres, which is just under a pint and is quickly replaced by your body. Step five, recovery. Oh, thank you. And a glass of water. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, video jug. Now the hard part's over, it's time to relax for 15 minutes or so and enjoy tea, biscuits and a chat to the other donors. This gives you some time to make sure that you're not feeling lightheaded and replace your fluids. You'll also be given a card giving you advice on the do's and don'ts of the first couple of hours after giving blood. And that's it. You've just joined the 5% of the British population who've taken a short time out of their day to help save someone's life. Well done. It's amazing how many millions of units of blood are used in people who've had road traffic accidents, in people who are having major surgery, people who are just having a baby and have a heavy bleed afterwards. It is incredible how much blood is needed every day in the hospitals throughout the country.